Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, creepy friends. Well, we are back for mon monthly boxes. A uh, little update is that I've actually cancelled out Glossy Box permanently. I don't Today is the turn of the Look Fantastic monthly box. Uh, I did open the packet since it arrived last night. I have not yet looked in the box. Last month seems to explode. I had like 3,000 views on last month. I don't know how that happened. Thank you to anyone who spent precious minutes of their day watching moi. Looking in the box, we, as usual, have the monthly L magazine. Now, I know this was called the LF Sparkle Edition. I'm hoping that means we get something shiny and glittery and fun in this box. Look how that is reflecting everywhere I go. Just look at that. <gasps> Ooh. You know, I hate ripping the sticker, right? And it's for you guys to look first before I do. Okay, that's interesting because the first product I'm looking at, which is a Model Co blush, uh, actually says not for retail use. But it kind of has been retailed. That's interesting. So it is indeed a cheek powder sheer pressed powder brush i love a cheek powder you guys know that i've said this before i'm not don't tend to be a huge fan of um, stains or liquid based cheek products i do tend to prefer powders some people don't like powders it is called let's have a look it is beach peach bellini this is the shade that we have right here and I'm going to get out a little brush. In fact, I'm just going to use the brush and I'm going to be super lazy. And we're going to see what it looks like on. Bearing in mind, I have no makeup on and still evidence of a few hives going on. She's just, this is actually what I use to do sometimes foundation and normally mineral veil. But it's the brush hanging around there. So I'm going to use that. So it's got a nice enough colour on it, actually. It creates a nice sheen, I think. If you can see that, it's light enough that I would wear it. I'm not a fan of hugely heavy blushes. I love the Laura Geller one that came in the chocolate box. But it does, it's a very, very strong red shade. And I do find myself blending it out. Or I do end up slightly looking Coco the Clown a little bit on there. It's got such a shimmer about it, this. And I've clearly just added too much onto this cheek. So I'm going to apologise for that straight away. It creates a lovely sheen on the cheek. You can only just about see it even in the light that's coming through the windows. And I do just feel like I look like I've got healthy glow as opposed to feeling like I'm wearing a ton of blush. Model Co aren't actually that expensive and I know that because I've had some of their products before. So I'm quite happy with that. I think that's nice and I think it would actually be something I would consider buying. You know what else I was going to tell you? I bought my first NYX product uh, a couple of days ago. Actually no, a couple of weeks ago. The first thing I got was an eyebrow product. That is amazing, but I do have to buy my own brush for it. The second thing I got, and it's actually quite a funny story. Last week, I wanted a white eyeliner to go with the makeup I was going to wear for Halloween, but didn't. And I picked one up, thought it was white. And when I got it back, it was actually black glitter. Only cost £2.50. And it is an amazing eyeliner for the money. If anyone wants a, a budget brand beyond some of the number 17 range in boots completely nick seems amazing and i can't wait to try a few more of their products also a little uh catch up from last month to whoever recommended me tea tree shampoo i have indeed been trying out the paul mitchell kind i'm noticing a bit of difference i think it needs prolonged use in my hair uh, but i'm also definitely dehydrated on the ends some of this has got to go at some point uh, but i have just actually invested in moroccan oil conditioner to see if that helps if anyone remembers us getting moroccan oil quite a long time ago now from actually this very box going back to the box next thing we have is oh my gosh a sparkly darkly look fantastic nail foam. look how shimmery silvery that is so this is our sparkle product no doubt and it's just your basic run of the mill product i cannot use these so this will be given as a gift to somebody else uh they they um they give me goose pimples and the moment we do this when i use them generally in my job you don't have fingernails so it's totally fine literally they break every few minutes next product we have and i'm going to go to the obvious thing that's exciting me and we have actually another one of these brands we've got shading brush from them during the year it is a look good feel better angled blending brush right there lovely lovely long brush i love getting an eyeshadow brush i love getting an eyeshadow brush this is really going to help to do the outer corner here when i do shadows because i am planning another one when i go and see another band later on in this month oh that's so pretty it's so fluffy look at that ha ah, ah. ha look at the fluffy brush could have been a slight bit more angled but i like it 
I'm looking forward to using that and as you guys know I love receiving brushes in boxes because brushes are so damn expensive I'll tell you another funny story I took uh, a lot of my makeup brushes for Halloween last last week and I've got a certain contingency of older ones that I don't use anymore uh, because I don't particularly like them and when someone saw my brushes out they were like how many have you got how much have you spent so I was like actually hardly anything most brushes I have are either given to me in boxes, provided free with other products, bought very inexpensively. I don't generally buy makeup brushes. I would love, you know those toothbrush like ones that I see everyone doing? I think they're kind of cool, but I'm not sure if I'm on board with them or not. We now have four beauty based products uh, in here. We have Manu Skin Touch Recovery Balm for all skin types and sensitive or stressed. We will have to look in the brochure for these. I Go from stress to soothe with a Manu Recovery Balm. With the weather turning colder, this is one of our winter saviours. It's designed with natural ingredients to give you calm skin, reduce redness, soothe irritation and leave your skin hydrated and balanced. Contains essential rose oil, evening primrose oil, peptides, blackcurrant seed oil. So I'm guessing this is going to smell really fruity. I'm kind of hoping so. My cheeks are so pink. Yep, fruity as expected. Very fruity. So it massages into the skin well and it's tingling as well as it's going on. Next thing we have, we've seen this before. This is Bloom and Blossom, we've seen the brand anyway, Revitalizing Leg and Foot Spray. Great for someone like myself with flat feet and plantar fasciitis, perhaps, who knows. This foot and leg spray from Blossom and Bloom, I've said it in the wrong way around, I'm very sorry, is ideal for relieving aching limbs and putting a spring back into your step. It contains a blend of horse chestnut seed and yellow sweet clover extracts to alleviate water tension and revitalise tired legs. Okay, so this would be lovely, I guess, to apply at night after walking, working, generally my everyday stuff. I'm quite excited about this, actually. Smells rather nice, smells rather soothing, you know that lavender kind of essence you get. Sometimes with the two issues that I just mentioned, I get a lot of pain down the back of my calves. This would therefore be quite ideal if I was having a great deal of leg pain on a particular day. Something I've struggled with for many, many years actually, ever since I was quite young. Last two products, this is Penultimate. Uh, and I know this brand, this is Sebastian Professional and it's Volupt Spray. It's a volume building spray and I'm already quite afraid we're going to have to apply this to roots because that's not something I actually do. If volume and lift are what you're looking for, then the Volupt Spray by Sebastian will be your new best friend. It's, it uses unique cushion particle technology to lift hair from roots to, for long lasting hold and beautiful soft finish. Right, how do you do it then? Doesn't tell you how to do it. Make sure you shake this well as it is a biface formula. It means it works together when the product is mixed together. It doesn't actually tell me how to use it, but I'm going to assume that you apply it to the roots. Yeah, I would be, it smells wonderful and it smells like hair salons, but I would be really afraid to apply that to the roots of someone who's already struggling with constantly greasy roots. I do find that these actually do encourage stuff like that more. And although my hair is having flat moments right now, unfortunately, it's probably not something I would personally apply through fear of more grease. However, I'm sure someone somewhere will adore that. The last product is something I'm very, very, very excited about. This is L'Oreal Mythic Oil, and I have heard amazing things about this. Also cannot come at a more opportune time since I am almost entirely out of Redken's Argan 6 Oil, and I'm actually hoping I can encourage someone to go buy me a new bowl for Christmas. This has had such great reviews and such great feedback, and although I'm scared of putting oils in my hair, if it's just at the bases I've been using the Ar Moroccan oil with, then it's probably going to work out great. This lightweight hair treatment is infused with avocado and grapeseed oil to nourish the hair and provide antioxidant protection against environmental aggressors, so it's absolutely perfect. It works to keep hair smooth and manageable, minimizing frizz and flyaways and giving you incredible radiance and shine. Yep, yeah. so it basically is advising you to do as I do anyway, which is applying it to dry mid, mid lengths to ends, but I do tend to apply some before I dry my hair, if I blow dry my hair. So it's a slight bit looser than my Argan 6 oil. Argan 6 oil is actually quite heavy and quite thick. So that's the way I normally do it, which is the way that they're encouraging you to do it, is rub it into your palms and then rake it through. I would do that. Which is actually going to be a nice treat for my hair before I wash it today, I guess, just to feel quite oiled and nourished. These do actually help my mid lengths to ends 
a lot i cannot begin to tell you guys really really do help a great deal so i personally wouldn't do this to go out with i would do this at night before i go to bed the great thing is a lot of the product is actually i put about three pumps in my hands and it's all gone right into the hair because now looking at that it doesn't look shiny it just looks really really greasy so my advice to you is if you have a hair type like mine try to avoid putting it in before you go out in case you get the greasy effect like mine does and it certainly feels greasy now because there's an oil product in it try and do it before you go to bed and lather it on if you can lather it like slap it right on if you can because then it'll give your hair a treat overnight that's what i've been doing with moroccan oil and it's definitely made a slight bit of difference to my lengths that was the end of the lf sparkle box preparing for the christmas months this has been a better box than we've had recently some of the ones especially the uh, birthday one certainly seem to let a lot of people down uh, there's an lf sparkle twitter party on thursday though 17th of november no nope, we've got no hints as to next month so hopefully they are going to surprise us with a wonderfully full box full of full-size products maybe Thank you everyone for being here and watching this lovely look fantastic box. Birchbox is still to come. I have not had a dispatch for it yet, nor do I have a clue what's in it. I do indeed still have the uh, drawer box from last month though. I'm going to try and make like a set of drawers if we get any more and like stack them up to put different brushes in. I think they're really clever for that. Um, you'll just see like some kind of wee tutorial on that eventually coming. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do. I'm sorry it wasn't out as quickly as last month's was. I kind of had my hands tied yesterday. If you would like to follow Twitter or Instagram, which I kind of ignore a little bit, please do. I'm always active on Twitter. If not, watch through the videos, like, dislike, don't get mean on the channel, and I'll see everyone again for another video of anything in my little life. Bye, everyone.